So, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Classic Grand Prix on RCL. We drive the Brabham BT20. That race happened on February 2nd, season race 1, Monaco 66. We are here. Yeah, temperatures is 21 degrees. Uh, air temp, track temp is 29. The weather is very sunny. So, we use live weather, but we, we put the temps up if it's in winter. So, yeah. And here we have some rules. So... Yeah, so basically one car, one tire set, but we have a skin set of F190, uh, yeah, 1966. Yeah, uh, tire usage, fuel usage, two times, race time will be 45 minutes. Uh, yeah, P1 gets nine points, P2 gets six points, P3 gets four points, P4 gets three points, P5 gets two points, P6 gets one point. That's basically historic. Yeah, and with the two times tire and fuel usage, we try to like simulate a longer race. They drove like two hours back then. So we, we jump into the pole lap from Jakub Kowalski, which was a 126.5. So now we can see the track a bit. Very dangerous. The de death is around every corner. Really incredible. As he slides very nearly to the yeah, to the to the guardrail there on the left. Now don't be too late here. You will lose everything and you will lose your tires as well. So there's Basically, no room for mistakes here on this track. Skowalski drives very smooth. Now, oh, yeah, a little bit uh, too, much, too much braking there. So, a little flat spot maybe, but the tires are so hard, nothing can happen. So, Kowalski drives for RCL Racing. That's the RCL Racing skin, you see, a little bit at least. Yes. As he drives through the tunnel here, you can see how dangerous it was back then. Now the most dangerous part, the harbour chicane, look at that, fourth gear, no brakes almost. So the hay bales, they were wrong, that's that's just a bug from the replay. They weren't there but when I drove the lap, so. Yeah, as he really drove, pretty clean, so well done. We will see how close it was between Kowalski and Lee Russell, who drove for Honda. Yeah, he is almost, uh, he was like five times almost into the guardrail, so that was very, very yeah, brave, a very brave lap. He did not destroy it himself, and well done for P1, RCL Racing. Seems to be a good start for the season for them. Lee Russell on P2 for Honda. Uh, Raiders, uh, Racecraft Legends as well on P3. Nick Leaker on Honda on P4. Timon Sovic on the BRM on P5. Carsten Powells on Lotus on P6. Stray Mino on P7 uh, with the Brabham and Andres Pintora with the Honda on P8. As Emperor of Finland will not start the race, he has a shoulder injury. Practiced a bit with the Scuderia Ferrari, but it's not here right now. All right. So we will jump in directly to the start. 45 minutes race. Let's go. Green, green, green. It's a good start from Kowalski, but Russell seems to... We don't see it now. But Russell had the better start at the end as he overtakes Kowalski into corner one. We see Pintora already gained some places. Lika had a bad start. Powell's now overtook Pintora as they go pretty solid through the first corners here. There we see the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Only eight people here. We hope for more sign ups next time. So let's go. Raiders on P3 behind Kowalski tries to somehow, of course, get through. Catch Russell together. Chicane, one, two, goes through. Three goes through, four goes through. Five goes through, six goes Oh, a big, huge crash, oh my. He's in hospital. Look at that, we see a replay here. That's what happens if you miss the corner just once on this track, to be honest. Like, that's that's very fast uh, corner as well, so, wow. So he's in hospital, but he should be fine. And there we see another crash on the back. A Honda crashed into the wall, that's Leaker. He's out of the race as well. So we have two crashes already now, but so far, yeah, I think half of the field will, will vanish, to be honest with you. Let's see what happens. As we see uh, Sovic going for P2, behind Raiders. Raiders now a little late on the break. Oh, can he avoid the wall? Yeah, he can. Oh, very close. So still, when the car is a little damaged, you can continue, but your, your wheel will be basically not centered no more. Yeah, very 
tough stuff as we go here for the Löw's corner and uh, yeah, for the lower section of the track. Yeah, Sovic then uh, lost a little time as we see lap comparisons between the first four drivers who are in, in between 10 seconds and yeah, as we have 37 minutes to go. Russell very fast with the fastest lap already of the race uh, on lap three. Kowalski tries to, to maintain yeah, the position and a close gap to Russell, but he cannot right now. Raiders is almost as fast as Kowalski, had a little struggle in the first laps and Sovic uh, cannot really hold the speed. Let's see if he can find the tempo at the end of the race. He struggled a bit at the start. He had a good start, but he struggled a bit in the next laps and uh, yeah, now it's all about to get into the rhythm, find a groove. Everyone can win so far. You just have to finish. Everyone can crash out. It's really incredible. This track, uh, car track combo is really ridiculous to be honest. It's, it's amazing to drive it. So we see uh, Sovic little white. Uh, yeah. Russell dead. We are on P1. As we see the DNFs. So Stray Mino is out as well for Brabham. Very sad. We didn't saw the accident. But uh, yeah, he crashed in the harbour chicane as well. As I don't think it's the only victim to be honest. So Pintera on P5, he drives, he's the only guy left besides the top four drivers who have very similar pace right now. As Lee Russell continues to yeah, stay in front about 3.3 to 4 seconds. So as we see Kowalski going through the lower section of the track uh, just before the tunnel now. So the track it, didn't change almost. I mean, it, it is the same track like we have today. Just the streets changed, the buildings changed, of course. So the route changed here. It changed maybe a little bit in the whole harbor section. That's totally different today, of course, but not that far away. So uh, Russell, P1, 3.4 seconds in front of Kowalski all the time. So they drive very similar speed now after, th uh, yeah, after 10 minutes of the race. So we see a comparison of Raiders and Sovic as Raiders can yeah, push the gap a little further uh, compared to Sovic who is now 7 seconds behind Raiders. So Sovic still struggles to, to find some faster rhythm. Uh, he's in the 129s, 130s as Raiders drives 128s consistently. So Kowalski then totally on the back, 31 minutes, uh, not totally on the back but still 3 to 4 seconds uh, behind Russell. He's 31 minutes behind. They receive very similar lap times from both, so yeah, they don't make presents to each other. So it hard gained tenth of the laps here. So we see the RCL racer racing car, RCL racing car, 2.7 seconds now. Kowalski seems to find a better rhythm. Uh, he he puts Russell a little bit under pressure, maybe. Let's see, Russell here goes completely over the curb. By the way. Ah, and there as well. Ah, now I see what he does. Very good. Everyone has a little different approach. Every driver is a little different. At the end, people have the similar lap times anyway. So it's uh, incredible to see that all, all the time. There's different driving styles. And at the end, it's yeah, all about uh, racing and, and never giving up and trying to get the last tense out of it all the time. Not crashing, of course. As as Russell crashed into the harbour chicane, I think it's out. He lost the rear wheel. Look at this. We have we have it in a replay here. That's definitely the crash of the day. He almost drives into the policeman. Oh, yeah. Okay, he was too early on the ex inside. I think he had a technical issue. That's not not usual for him. Yeah, incredible. And he just turns. He makes a spin. A nice corkscrew like like uh, type of figure here. As Kowalski. It, yeah, Kowalski drove into the w wheel, by the way. He avoided the wreck of Russell, who did not finish. But his Kowalski's car is now a little damaged because he, he drove against the rear wheel of Russell. So without the rear wheel, you cannot drive no more. Without the front wheel, you can maybe go into the pits. Maybe they will change the tires. But without the rear wheel, where all the force is, you cannot, you cannot do anything no more. Yeah, sad outing for Russell, Mino, Liker, Powells and Emperor of Finland, of course, he did not start. Yeah, uh, we hope for some more finishes at next race, but that was clear on this track, to be honest with you. So we see Kowalski, Rato, Sovic and Pintera. 
Pintana uh, going for the yeah for the positions. Uh, half of the field destroyed already. Yeah, as Pintana drives in into the uh, harbor chicane, he crawls back to the pit lane. Like he basically drives into the harbor chicane. You know, <laughs> we didn't saw the footage perfectly, but there it was, and he crawls back. He loses a ton of time because he had some struggle here to rejoin the server as well. So he's showing you DNF right now, but he will come back. At the end, we will see if we can do the 75% lap distance. Raiders now struggles a bit in lap 15, 16, 17, as you see. The tires seem to be a di little different now after 15 laps. They are very hard still. They are good, but yeah, the rhythm as well. It it's hard to maintain the good rhythm. So Sofik gains a little bit on the Raiders. He's now only four seconds behind. As Kowalski is uh, spread, it, spread it the lead to 13 seconds already. Looking good for RCL today. Uh, as maybe a 1-2 finish. We will see at the end. So we still have 15 minutes to go. As Raiders is 14 seconds behind Kowalski. Who is a little faster than both. But Sovic, Sovic is uh, gaining on both. On Raiders and Kowalski. So he now, the last 15 minutes of the race, found a good rhythm. If he can maintain that. If others struggle a bit. He could maybe win the race as well. He goes very nicely from the chicane. And here, this part of the uh, the Mirabeau, no, the Tabak corner is it? I'm sorry, the Tabak corner was so incredible back then. You just fly, fly over it. The car flies literally. 2.5 seconds behind Raiders. Sovic is gaining on Kowalski and Raiders. Raiders is gaining on Kowalski as well. It's only 13 seconds behind, and Sovic is 15 seconds behind. There we saw Raiders going through the chicane, and Sovic just behind him with two seconds. Seeing him, catching him. Yeah, so 10 minutes to go. Who will win the race? Kowalski, Raiders or Sovic? I'm not lying, it's looking good for Kowalski. But one little mistake, one little crash. And you are out of the race or destroyed your car. You will have very hard time to finish the race then. So there we see the left side. Kowalski very consistent in the 29s. Raiders had a problem, so Sovic gained a bit. But all are very consistent now. And it's all about not crashing at the end of the yeah of the race, the last 10 minutes of the race. As Pintana is finally in the pit lane, he lost like 10 minutes or more, uh, so he will be he will have a hard time to finish. It, the, uh, I mean, he will finish, but to to get the points, it will be very hard because because he will basically finish under 75 uh, percent of the finish, finishers race distance. There we have it, official 10 minutes remaining. 12 seconds. Raiders is 12 seconds behind Kowalski. Sovic is 15 seconds behind Raiders. Sovic in the beautiful BRM skin. As Kowalski goes through the chicane nicely. No problems this lap. Looking okay. Looking good. And let's see what happens with P2 and 3. The fight for P2. Raiders spins. As 8 minutes 50 to go, he spins and he crashes a little bit into the wall. So his car is a little damaged as well. Kowalski and Raiders, so the both RCL racers have now a little damaged cars. As Sovic in the in a pretty fresh BRM and a good rhythm tries to maintain. What do we see now? A replay. Uh-oh! Kowalski struggles in the chicane and bang! He goes right into the wall. His engine goes off. He has to restart his engine. Back off and then go again. His car is okay to go. The wheels are on. But look at the steering wheel. It's, it's sideways, that will be hard because Sovic is now right behind Kowalski. So the last five minutes seem to be pretty exciting. Kowalski has to maintain the speed with a broken car. Sovic with a very good rhythm and a, and a good car on P2. Raiders is now nine seconds behind Kowalski. It looks like he cannot push more than he does now. But Sovic now, he licks the blood. He, he sees Kowalski right in front of him. He saw he made a mistake. The car has to be broken a bit. There was a hard impact. Wow. So Sovic is now really trying to go for it in the last laps. BRM or RCL. They say, oh, as Sovic goes wide. Oh, he lost a little time there. You cannot do that too often now. If you want to catch uh, Kowalski, who, I have to say, really maintains a good speed with the broken car. So he focused at the last corners, definitely. Of, yeah. As we have two minutes to go, we stayed on on the last two minutes because it's under two seconds. Uh, yeah, the gap between P1 and P2. So basically, we have two laps to go now. 
SBM slides out of the corner. He's trying, he's pushing, he's going for it. He wants to pressure Kowalski. Maybe he can do another mistake with this broken wheel as he makes almost a mistake. And wow, that was so super close. Unbelievable. Very nice breaking into the corner. Oh, Kowalski's wide and he hit the wall a little bit. So his car is even more damaged as the gap goes under one second right now. As they go by the casino down to the slow part of the track. I mean, everything is slow, but this is extremely slow. And then the Loews corner, because the hotel back then was called Loews. I don't know if it was in 66, but I know it was in the 80s, 90s like that. So one minute to go. Two seconds behind, so Sovic made a mistake in the chicane, um, in the hairpin again. Yeah, in the in the Loews corner. Penalty for Pintana, by the way. We don't understand why, but that doesn't matter. He cannot finish over 75% lap distance, but he's now. brave to finish anyway. So they both go through the chicane. One and a half laps to go, the harbor chicane, which killed three drivers at least, four, three, four drivers almost. With three drivers for sure and Kowalski almost. As Kowalski goes for the last corner, you see he has struggles to hold the line as he was holding all the time. He, he The car okay, moves now around. So one more lap we hear from Kowalski from his cockpit. 1.6 seconds behind. Looking good for Kowalski now yes. after the crash in the casino corners. It's looking good now. Let's see if Sovic can find one and a half seconds more than Kowalski. Well, it is possible. He has to do it. One, two. He's fast on the straight. Kowalski is very on the fast corners. He tries to be very slow. Look at this. Oh, look at this. He almost he almost can smell him. As one second behind Sovic. Raiders is nine seconds behind the leader. So he he will be happy to finish P3. So maybe a one free for RCL then. Looking good. One second behind. And the hairpin again. Where Kowalski had always a good. So he was good here in the slow corners. But you will see Sovic gaining on the straights because Kowalski in the harbor chicane will not go for any risk now. As he went for the risk on the slower corners already to has had this gap for, of 1.4 seconds again. So here we will see. Everything can change here in this last lap. Kowalski goes through, no problems, but he's in third gear. He had to slow down a bit. He's not trusting the car no more. One second only. Kowalski goes through the tabak corner. Uh, it's looking good for Kowalski, only the last corner, the brakes, the brakes, he brakes a little long, it oh. was late, Sovic is on the back, under oh, one nice second. Oh, Timon, man. Uh, yes, we heard Kowalski. Yes, with the broken car at the end, let's go. As we Woo. hear some emotions from the cockpit here, from Kowalski, who's very yeah, happy everyone died about here. winning this race. And it says that everyone died here, but I can tell you not everyone died here because four people finishes the race. As we see Pintana with another crash. Wow, what a bad, what a bad start for Pintana. We hope for a better race in Spa next next race. Uh, people not died because it's only a simulator. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, <laughs> they, some are in hospital, but they are fine. They are mostly str struggling with uh, yeah having a virus right now. So in their bodies, not in their computers. So. As we see the, the results of the race, Kowalski started P1, lost P1 at the start, but came back after Russell lost control of his car and crashed into the harbor chicane and had an accident. Uh, yeah, had to, had to, yeah, could not finish. So Kowalski in RCL, nine points, P1, Sovic for PRM, six points, P2, Raiders for RCL, four points, and no other has points. There we see the standings. It's a very good outing for RCL and BRM. Uh, for Honda, wasn't that good. They were here with three drivers, but no one finished. Uh, two did not finish, and the other guy did not score points. So that can be only better. As we hope that Emperor Finnet will be back soon as well with his broken shoulder. He is a very good driver, and we hope to see him back here on the track as well, not only commentating from time to time and broadcasting, but also and the modding, of course. As we see, RCL has 13 points out of maximum uh, 16 of 15 and BRM has 6 points. So, yeah, let's see what happens in race 2. We have lots of more sign-ups right now, so race 2 will be will be a real banger on Spa with uh, 12 to 15 to 20 people even possible. As we see some driver stats here, 
That's, that will be more important at the end of the season when we have more stats, more wins, more poles for other drivers, more faster slaps, maybe some hat tricks and grand slams, which shows us how good the drivers really are and how much luck maybe was involved. Like the stats, like you know how it is. It's always the same. It's just numbers. At the end, it's about racing together hard, wheel on wheel, and maintaining pace and racecraft, and you know, yeah, and growing together as a crew, as a company at the end. So. Thank you for enjoying that. Thank you for watching. Leave a like and subscribe and comment a bit. We'll be back on Wednesday, March 2nd in Sp on Spa 66, which is the next Death Trap. Yeah, Death Trap track. So we hope to see you. You will not, you, you don't want to miss that. Um, yeah, as we see the nice picture of the Rouge here in the Brabham. So that's exactly how it will be. Yeah. So thank you for watching. Uh, as BTC CTTS was this week already, GTETM will come on Le Mans 75 minutes race uh, next week. Same on Wednesday, GT3 DTS will come on Daytona Road, and then you see next week's F191 Classic GP and F3 Trophy still to come in month two of season three on RCL. So have a good time, have a blessed one, and see you next time. Bye-bye.